It's time for finals! No! I am the dumbest man known to human history, bro. Not this dude again! He say talking about magic and sorcery and black magic and shit, bro. This is not fucking Hogwarts. What is wrong with this nigga? Where are your eyes at, nigga? Hell no, he on the Stevie Wonder Ray Charles shit. Silence! You're not the nigga on fucking Dune. Stop that shit. Class beginning. Uriel, Ruluai, Lilulai, Ulia, Azriad, Metio, Zintos. Like, nigga, what is this nigga hiding for? You're wasting government money, bitch ass nigga, to teach us magic that don't exist. Just a quick preface. When I use the word magic, what is wrong with you? You don't have a magic wand. You don't have a cape. You don't have a wizard hat, nigga. You don't have none of that bullshit. Why does he think he can use magic? What class is this, nigga? When I use the word magic, I mean in a very general sense. Why should this be like fucking literature class or some shit? Like, nigga, what are we learning this shit for? Anyway, today's topic is the magic of Middle Europe. Can somebody just confirm for me, bro, in the comment section in Japan... Do these niggas just learn magic? Like, what is this nigga teaching about, bro? What? I'll be giving a crash course on the single most magical place in time in recorded history. So there are a lot of materials pertaining to Western magic, from printed books to communal folklore. What is wrong with you? Why are you teaching magic? Is nobody else in this class, like, dazed or confused about anything, my nigga? All these other niggas just like, oh my god, magic again? No. Like, nigga, we're in high school, what? I'll cover all of it, including the changes European magic has seen throughout then. I just, I, I must be playing the wrong game right now, nigga. This is, this is Hogwarts Legacy, nigga? Like, what is this shit? As I mentioned previously, European magic finds its origins in paganism. Starting with Christianity. No, no, I study Christianity and I don't do any type of magic sorcery. I don't do none of that bullshit, my nigga. Hell nah, bro. I don't do any fucking none of that bullshit. No, nigga. It has been influenced by an influx of various cultures. Let's see, what are some well known examples? There's. I feel like I'm having saying that word, I'm canceled, nigga. What does that mean? Kablaba? <laughs> Hey, no disrespect, my nigga. No disrespect, bro. I just don't know what the fuck he says. Which is the esoteric study of mythical aspects of Jewish texts. Yeah, abso yeah, absolutely no disrespect, my nigga. Hell nah. Hell nah, bro. I love my Jewish niggas. Yeah, hey, yes, sir. No Kanye shit. No Kanye shit. There's also Nogatism, a Christian sect founded by Simon Magus, the sorcerer. We are learning about sorcerers, nigga. What? What is happening? This nigga teaching us about Greek philosophy, Zeus and, and Poseidon. Oh my god, bro. Greece philosophy and natural sciences were the fruits of magical researchers. And the same was true of Islam's scientific advances, which surpassed Europe's at the time. Now, as far as the circumstances of magic in this age, it was an era where the rule of Christianity and the inside of natural sciences collided. Magicians bravely reached out for the connection with the gods. So, this nigga clearly is some type of fucking time traveler or some shit, bro. This is the weirdest teacher we have to fucking date. He had a conversation with God? Are you serious? Don't ask me a question, nigga. I have no idea, bro. I'm paying attention and don't know what the fuck you're talking about. How about a test to see if you're paying attention? You don't know what type of guardian angel you have. I want to have that same guardian angel in that last video, my nigga. Give me that guardian angel, please. Go with the sexy toes. Depending on how you are. Uriel, Riluel, Illui, Giliar, Lariar. Like, nigga, what is this nigga saying, bro? What language is that? Now, who to call upon? Hmm. Ah, the master of black magic, Apollo Kuhn. Nigga, what do you mean the master of black magic? What the fuck? I don't know any magic. What is the esoteric study of Jewish text called? It's the fucking, the, uh, the Kablaba, the Kablaba. I was actually paying attention this time, my nigga, so sure. Thank your guardian angel. Please, uh, send her back down here. I'll thank her personally with cock. They must be kind. Uh, the magicians of the age received uh, the great things. Uh, particularly the renowned nigga. No, bro, I'm not reading this shit. Hell no, the more I read this shit... God damn! We got the rank up in charm, nigga, bro. Level four? All I need is that academics now, bro. And I'll become the most... Woo! -ho -ho -ho! A genius! But with that comes amazing traits. Amazing traits. Amazing traits. Here we go right here, bro. After school. Hell yes. Let's get this shit. 
I think Kenji Loki actually fucking died, bro. Like, that nigga, he just don't give a damn about school. Like, no way. Alright, we got nobody to actually meet up with except the fucking dumbass cafe. Alright, say less, bro. Say less, bro. Finals are actually taking place right now, which means I have a high chance of failing school once again, nigga. God damn it! I've been getting my ass beat. I've been getting my ass beat. I thought that was a big-ass red balloon over here. Like, nigga, who's inside here? Pennywise? All right, let's see this shit, bro. Back home so I can study with Mitsuri and Akihiko. Let's get it right here, my nigga. Hell yes, hell yes. If I fail these this time, I'm getting held the fuck back, bro. And I actually happened inside real life before, my nigga. I failed so goddamn bad. The teacher was like, look, bro, we can't afford to hold you back, so just go on to the next grade. Like, nigga, damn, bro. And now we here. Yes, sir. I graduated on time, my nigga. No child left behind. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Here we go. That shit better be making all y'all dance when that song comes on, but that shit is so fire to me, man. Oh, my God. It's almost nighttime. I should head inside. All right, best. Say less, nigga. Say less, nigga. For some reason, I'm getting no social links. Where the fuck are these niggas at? Did they abandon me, nigga? They hate my ass now? Here we go. So, you're black. Welcome black. Hey, are you free tonight? With exams coming up, I thought maybe second years could hold a study session. I want to know what the fuck happened with Junpei, bro. This nigga, like, despises me now. Is he good? Uh, pass. I'm heading to my room. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Huh? Wait, Junpei! Oh well, his loss. Nigga, why is he so mad? You, me, and Fuko can still study together. You mean Yuka? You mean Yuka? Alright, here we go right here, bro. I wanna talk to Junpei. That was my nigga at one point. Now he's just acting mad jealous, bro. I'm acting mad jealous for no fucking reason, bro. Real recognize real? And that nigga looking so unfamiliar, man! It's almost time for exams. Have you been studying? Who's just about to study? Nigga, you already said that bullshit. Nigga, study with me. Yeah. Alright, say less, bro. Me, Yuka, and Takaiba, the dynamic trio. I kinda wasn't expecting that. I was not a notes nigga inside school at all, bro. Hell no, nah, I didn't study shit in school. Oh, these are Natsuki-chan's notes. Who the fuck is Natsuki? <laughs> from, from Doki Doki, bitch? What the hell is that? I them since I was out trapped in Tartarus. Who is- Oh, Natsuki's the black girl! What a good friend! It's kinda hard on the eyes? Nigga, don't disrespect her for no reason, bro! Yuka cool! Yuka cool! Let's see this shit! That said, there's actually quite a bit missing from these notes. Dumb bitch! Nigga, she was trapped inside TARDIS! Of course there is! Oh, you're right. This <laughs> she couldn't take notes! She wasn't in class! She wasn't even on this realm, nigga! I saw a mad nigga's Apollo. You can't say that about that red-headed girl, bro. She's 17, nigga. I don't even know her name yet. How the fuck am I gonna look up what the fuck her age is, bro? Red-headed girl from Persona 3 Reload? Like, nigga, I don't know what the fuck her name is. Uh, Y'all niggas is letting me have fucking instantaneous knowledge of every character in every game ever. And if they're even one year before 18, my nigga? Yo, Apollo, you on that Edie Bio shit? Like, nigga, what the hell? I didn't know. Y'all niggas be fast to jump on some shit when y'all niggas be doing the same thing behind the screen. Be material, but it's the thought that counts, right? I heard about you persona niggas. I heard about you persona five niggas to be exact. Y'all niggas all go way farther than me. Making art and shit. Nasty ass niggas. To return, the favor. return what favor to Natsuki? Complete her notes, fill in the blanks? It's the thought that counts? No, nigga. Finish her fucking notes for her. Finish that shit. Taika, but what, what, what the fuck else would I mean by that? What the fuck else would I mean by that? You got me so mad, I just, I don't know, bro. Like, you got me out of my mindset just now. What are you talking about? What else would I mean? Great idea. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of material. I don't give a fuck. You can finish it. No! You out. It'll be a good review for us, too. You said we'll help you out, nigga. Who is we? <laughs> She'll help you out. Maybe, uh, Akihiko, nigga. Not me. Absolutely not. I came here to study, nigga. Not finish somebody else's notes for them. Here, let me see those notes. This nigga right here. Bro, we need to study. I'm about to fail. Oh. Yeah. All I know is about fucking Kablaba. That's it. The Jewish nigga. Oh my fucking god, man. We begin to fill Natsuki's notes. Yay, I'm glad to see Natsuki's gonna pass all of her tests. Hell yes, hell yes. What about me? We nearly wrote the entire thing. It really did good for a good review. 
Oh, that's why. All right, Beth, say less. So we still study a little bit. Say less. Say less. Academics level. That number need to hurry up and go the fuck up, bro. You're wasting my patience. You're wasting my patience. If I don't get a six at least by November, I feel like something special might happen inside November if I get it by four. But please, let me level up. Please. All done. God damn. Wonderful. No, it's not. I'm still stupid as shit. I didn't learn a fucking thing. I hope she likes it. I'm about to start turning into an asshole, bro. Whatever the fucking third option is in all these, I'm clicking that bullshit. Nigga, fuck Natsuki. I'm sure she will. You better be glad that's not an option. Thanks, you two. You're welcome. Pay me. Well, it certainly helped us study too, right? No! Don't shake your head yes at that. I'm about to go fucking find Natsuki and body slam her ass to the fucking ground like Green Goblin and Spider-Man, bitch. Oh god, I am. Just pick her up, just... BOOM! Right through the fucking ground. Right through the fucking ground. Hey. Junpei! Nigga, are you good? I feel like we need to have like a real man-to-man -man just like pull him aside like, Nigga, what, what's good with you, bro? You wanna just go throw the ones right quick? That's all you need is throw the ones sometimes with your niggas, bro. That's all you be needing sometimes. That nigga's not even saying anything, bro. Like, uh, like, uh, the one nigga from Daniel Opa whose name I can't say or else I can cancel once again. Uh, so... Exams are coming up pretty soon. Have you been studying or whatever? Yep. Even I'm keeping it short with this nigga, bro. What did you see? He going through something, bro. He going through something. That nigga be in his room screaming and I like Kendrick Lamar. Ah! Ah! Hey, nigga, are you good, bro? I be hearing your ass, bro. Mad saxophone playing in the background. Let me use God. Look at that. Like, nigga, damn. Well, not that it's any of my business anyway. What? You a bitch. You a bitch. That nigga switching up on me, bro. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. I'm not answering no more to your bozo ass questions anymore. And take that fucking hat off now. Here we go. Finally reached the tower of no Makasiko. He's the turning point of the era for the samurai. Nigga, sure, bro. It all began with the infighting of Montero clan. And I'm not reading any of that bullshit. Stop asking me questions. Now, what do you think the item was? It's something every samurai needs? It has to be the katana. It has to be the katana, of course. Uh, yeah. Let's go! I love when I can just skip answers, my nigga, and still get that shit right, bro. Hell yes, hell yes. The exam is next fucking week? I didn't know it was that soon. Alright, academics, easy level 5 now. Easy level 5 now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is my charm going up? Why? I don't need charm, bro. I need that academics level, my nigga. That academia. No deco in them, nigga. Junpei don't even sit next to us anymore, bro. There used to be Junpei's desk right there, mad close to me. This nigga, I don't know. What's happening with him? It's a message from Sonata. Who? The fuck is Sonata? Oh, Akihika. <laughs> I be calling some niggas by their first name and some niggas by their last name. Bro. I don't know who the fuck is who anymore. Itsuki-san is coming tonight. Sounds like he has something to tell us. He found out about the Jesus nigga! The false god! The false god! Holy shit! Promise? Huh? He would tell you that I'm running- No! No, 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 no! Where the fuck- uh, Itsuki gotta talk about nigga? That can wait, that can wait, that can wait! You came! Uh, Mom and Dad, they- No! They hit her again? They treat her like a goddamn, I don't know, bro. Punching bag. Holy fuck. The fast shit. Do, 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 do. Like, dig a damn. I can't take it anymore. Ah, oh, damn. Get used to it, little jig. Get used to it. It's a cruel, cruel world we live in. And she always, like, says something wilder every time I talk to her, bro. Every time I talk to her, this time she's gonna be like, And my mom held me up when my dad started to, uh, they double team me! Like, nigga, they did what? I'm calling the fucking cops, hell nah. I made up my mind. I have to run away from home. I got 911 on speed dial, bitch. You ain't going nowhere. Don't do it, calm down. Why the fuck would I say it's up to you? 
Who was the third option, nigga, that chose all these fucking devious ass options, bro? I gotta know your name. I gotta know your name. You evil as shit. Calm down. No, don't do it. Oh my god. Please don't do it. I am on your side, bro, but you just you you can't run away from home, nigga. You're not gonna survive, bro. You won't be eaten by bears and wolves and lion cats and shit. I'm going to run away. I already said <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, Makoto, say something, bro! You better start packing soon. No, you don't have anything to pack! You got a total of five outfits and that's it. If it makes me answer this bullshit, I need lots of snacks, right? And my insurance card? You can't even say the word! No, nigga, hell nah. How the fuck do you even know what a fucking insurance card is, nigga? You're four years old. That should be enough. <laughs> Why am I encouraging this? I'll take more than that, nigga. No, you need fucking. I might be gonna tell her she might be like, okay, I got you. Like, nigga, no, bro. It'll take way more than that. What? That's not enough? She said she's bringing some fucking goldfish and an insurance card. Nigga, you'll be dead by tomorrow. Hell nah. Okay. What else? Maybe my PJs and my toothbrush? Um, is there more? Michael Myers, Michael Myers. Listen very closely to me. PJs, snacks, insurance card. Toothbrush, guess what, nigga? If you're bringing a toothbrush, where are you getting the water from? The neighborhood creek? What are you talking about, bro? You're not Craig of the Creek, nigga. You're gonna go outside and scoop that shit in some fucking water and start brushing your teeth with microorganisms and shit, bro. No, sir, hell nah. Michael is deep in thought. Michael about to be deep in the fucking ground. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Michael. You ever wanted to be six feet, huh? Under, nigga? I'm calling the cops, bro. It's like, you can't just willingly let a kid do this shit! Then stop her! This nigga Makoto evil, bro! I feel like we're getting closer, honestly. Like, nigga, then stop her from fucking running away, bro! For she get hanged! This is like some sick ass parent trap or some shit. I don't know. You are not Lindsay Lohan. You got something wrong with you, bro. How are her feet going through each other down there? She got, I don't know, like phasing powers or shit like the Flash. I walk Michael home and return to the dorm room. Has her parents not asked one time, like, nigga, who is that grown ass man walking you home every day? <laughs> who is that nigga? I never assigned him to do that. Her parents don't give a fuck about her, nigga. I would have been started pressing my daughter who the fuck that was. And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the 7th. What happened on the night of the 7th? What is that shit? These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. Wait, so we had eight shadows to be. Was that three right there? Do we only have five left now? We had the fucking... The wife and the husband, the fat nigga. And we had the heart nigga. Is there only five left? Or was the heart nigga just one nigga? I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Bring up the fucking Jesus Christ, nigga. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I call He knows! Uh, because... Because what? Hold on. Takaba, shut your ass up. Never interrupt again. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo senpai something. You think now's the best time to bring this shit up? Oh my god! She about to press her right here in front of all of us? And this is about to get crazy! Oh? And she knows what's happening too! No! No! Don't bring it up! Don't bring it up! Please! I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. And it feels like you know about everything that's happening. Oh shit! No way! I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. She pressing the fuck out of Mitsuri. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. No way! You've been hiding something from us, haven't you?
haven't you, Senpai? Damn! What if she's like, well, yes. There's one evil persona user that I know about. What if she brings up Jesus? Jesus Christo! But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan? What is about to happen? And it's playing the same Jesus theme, bro! What the fuck? There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. Damn! What is about to fucking happen? It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Nigga, she would have been like 10. Yes. She knew? Luckily, no students were injured. But something is off here. What the fuck is going on right now? Mitsuri, answer me! At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Of whose students? Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. Is she getting down to the bottom of it too? What do you mean? You know what she means! Mitsuri, no! She been evil this whole time, bro! My fucking god, what the hell are you looking at, nigga? What the fuck you looking at, huh? Look at my face. Look at my face when I talk to you, you understand me? Don't look at my body. Don't look at that, nigga. Oh my fucking god, man! That's how I gotta start pressing niggas now, bro! Oh, cause Mitsuri betrayed me! Fuck! God damn it! Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Like what? Damn, she was in the library and studying and shit. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. This one must be connected to Persona 2. No way. Doesn't it? This is the Persona 2 in 1 storyline. I did my quite adequate research. <laughs> I don't fucking know nothing about 1 and 2, nigga. Are those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. There are people trapped inside Tartarus? What? I want an explanation. What was that noise she made? What was that? It really happened on the day of that accident. Woo! Press the fuck out of her. Yurijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Get big body to Kaiba! Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth! Look at everybody go. <laughs> Look straight at her. No way! Ah, shit. Even the fucking, you know, the head councilman knows that she already, like, uh, nigga, they asked you, not me. Like, nigga, no way. But Don't look at him. It's okay. It's not your I knew he knew, bro. You know he knows. You know he knows. I'll tell you everything. I want the full story, too. Don't leave a fucking thing out, bitch. You're able to call her right there. You know how to call her that right now. You're able to. Mysterious abilities. Okay. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We lose. We fucking lose. Is this nigga serious? Is this nigga fucking serious? Nigga, we got basic fire and electric powers. These niggas control time and space? Who are they, Pokia, nigga? Oh my fucking god, bro. We facing damn near Pokemon now, nigga. Pocky and Dialga just running around. Like, no way. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They tried, to, they tried to utilize them! They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What the fuck?! What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. The Jesus nigga! No fucking way! There always gonna be some unorthodox nigga that wanna harness the power of something, bro! And it always goes wrong and creates some sort of fucking abomination! He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo. Koetsu! His name even sound crazy too, bro! Wait, so it was Kirijo, Koetsu, Kirijo, nigga, 3Ks? My grandfather. WHAT?! That nigga's her grandpa? Her papa? You better not show that nigga. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadow. Who the fuck is that? 
He wanted to That is not the same nigga. That nigga little big body, big body, badly built bitch. Create something extraordinary? No fucking way. To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? I want that tickle in my booty hole. That's freaking crazy. Jumping on have you been fucking acting weird? Final stages of the project. There was an accident. Damn! An experiment failed. My dumb ass would have been there in that night too. The first one to get exploded. Of the entire world. You can't mean Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. They created that! What? Her grandpa created the Dark Hour and Tartarus? According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. Woo! These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. It's your fault! Akihiko almost died to those same shadows! You understand me? You're evil! Your entire bloodline is tainted! Maybe I take back everything I said about you! You're evil! Wait a minute. No way! Makoto ain't got a fucking thought behind those eyes at all. That nigga staring at material like this. Like, nigga, are you good? Tee up! If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Get up! Meek Mill, so <laughs> get up! Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. No fucking way, bro! I always knew I couldn't trust your ass either. I've been saying that since episode one, didn't I, guys? Didn't I, guys? I always said, Matsuru, there's something about you that I don't trust quite. Then those students who were hospitalized. Fuck! It's just as you fear. What, their shadows? It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Fort Island must have been the perfect location for them. What the fuck? So, yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what at the same high school that we currently attend! So that's the whole purpose behind C's? To correct your mess-ups? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? Takai, I'll get that off a lead better than you, bro. Shut that, shut that, shut that, shut that. We will drag into this to clean up your fucking mess! Huh? You lied to us? You lied to us! Stop moaning at my shit! I don't fall for those simple ploys anymore. Didn't you, Sonata Senpai? And you knew too, Sonata Senpai, huh? After everything we've been through, you trained me how to box, nigga! Like Muhammad Ali! And you fucked me over! You've both just been using us! You've been using us! Since day one! That nigga wasn't even being chased episode one, bro! That nigga was acting like he was, bro! He! He acted like he was being chased so he could find Junpei and so he could act like he was hurt to sit out to train us how to use our personas and shit! He was lying! Like Shut your dumb ass up, nigga! He would've got my face right there. Like, nigga, what the fuck you gonna do then, nigga? What you gonna do then, nigga? Come on, swing at me, swing at me. I don't give a fuck. I don't fuck with you or that stupid bitch anymore, nigga. And I got the strongest persona, nigga. Want me to do it? I know you don't want me to. I know you don't want me to, bitch. Fuck out my face with that bullshit. I have my reason. You pussy! I knew you were a pussy! Your secret wasn't safe with me, bro! Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. And he listened! I'm sorry. That nigga dressed like Crazy Steve, Drake and Josh, bitch ass nigga! It was never Whack ass outfit! Fuck! Convincing you to join C's was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair. She honeypotted me, man! She honey-parted me! 
God damn it! She did me dirty as shit. Be defeated by persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. Nah, fuck that bullshit. Y'all are the only ones that can fight. I'm out this bitch. Have fun leading your damn self, nigga. That's hardly the point. Exactly. I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power. I got so much respect for Takaiba now, bro. Takaiba is her. What's her first name? Kuriko? I'm calling her by her first name now, bro. Respect, respect. We would have not found this shit out if it wasn't for her. I... Fuck you. Me too. That's enough. That's enough out of both y'all. Takabaku. It's only those in the past who are to blame. Nah, fuck all that shit. Fuck all that shit. Y'all put us in danger of mistakes that your family lineage cost, nigga. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. I was like, imagine there's a fucking slave master that just constantly enslaved niggas causing nothing but fucking problems. In the future, I meet the slave master's granddaughter. And the granddaughter's having me clean up the fucking cotton fields off the shit that that nigga caused. Like, nigga, what? We're all in the same boat here. No, we're not. We deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. I can't even make a thrust joke anymore. I can't even make a thrust joke anymore. Fuck with Siri, bro. Yukari, you the GOAT! GOAT KEY, GOAT KEY, GOAT KEY! It's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. I hate just looking at your stupid balding ass now, bro. Your hairline's atrocious. We have the chance to find and destroy them. You have the chance. You have the chance. Do you realize what that means? Do you realize what you're gonna have to do? You? What if I told Don't play this theme now! Shadows are the cause of everything. Nah, fuck that bullshit. Don't try to make it like it's all. Oh, we got this, guys, right? Come on, mad triumphant. No, nigga, fuck that. You're saying if we defeat. The fuck you, nigga. Exactly. You and Materia That's muted good from good the, from here on out. See? It's good news. Until further notice. No, it ain't no fucking good news, nigga. Can that really be true? I only trust. I only trust Yukari. And Yuka, that's it. Even Junpei acting kind of acting kind of weird. There's evidence to support it, and this is where our true battle begins. I hate how you're trying to make it seem like we. Come on, guys. All we gotta do is no, nigga. Our true battle. Don't back up on it now, Yukari. Stop. Stand on it. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect. Also, some niggas told me what the fuck happened to Yukari. That's sick as hell, bro. Apparently, we were both inside that hotel room. And from what I got from what the comment section was saying, bro, apparently Makoto, like, unconsensually did something to her. I don't know. I don't know. If somebody explained a little bit better. That's just what I got from it. That sounds crazy if that's true, bro. What the fuck? The shadows are gaining strength. But it's because they're both, like, hypnotized or whatever. That's insane. Right. Fuck you, bitch. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. Yeah, many mysteries that, that the Carrizo bloodline caused. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? Ask her. The <laughs> Ask her right there. She should know. She should know exactly what the fuck it is. The biggest question is who the fuck is that damn Jesus nigga? I thought that was going to be the grandpa, but I, don't, I guess not. That nigga just don't exist to everybody else, I guess. We must defeat the 12 shadows. Nigga, I thought it was 8. <laughs> Did add 4 more, nigga? In order to eradicate both the Dark Hour and Tartarus, I must fight to protect everyone. Six of them remain. Oh, so that did count as 2. Oh, we only have 6 left. Good move, good move. What the fuck? Nigga. Are we gonna act like none of that shit just happened? What? The fuck is everybody else at? No way! No way that big ass bomb just drops on us and the rest of us is on the living room like, oh yeah, um, yeah, chapter 13 was actually pretty good. Like, nigga, no! What the? I'm the only one that's with fucking rebellion in, nigga. Fuck this goddamn school, bro. Hell no, I'm laying in bed. This is gonna be the only time I go to sleep, nigga. Fuck that. Ah! Ah! Love you with God, nigga. Now you were complicated. Now you were complicated. What the fuck? Lounging about as usual, huh? 
Look at him change his outfit because I made fun of his stupid ass. Hmm? Hugh, what do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. He was a part of the original group! As a child! That's not why I'm here. As a young jit! I was just making sure you were still around. No way! That's so. We've known each other a long time. I don't care about nothing that your backstory is, Hakiko, but fuck y'all, bro. It's 14 years since we met at the orphanage. Fuck your dead parents, nigga. Me, Miki. Who the fuck is Miki? Mickey Mouse, nigga? Who is that? Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. Look at that big ass fucking alcohol bottle right there. God damn, nigga. Who drinking that shit? The Giants off One Piece, nigga? Like, god damn. Shit, big as shit. You haven't changed one bit. What clan are you from? I get all sappy. Go <laughs> I don't know why you got that fucking ninja headband, bro. What clan are you from? Tell me. What was that? You hidden leaf, nigga? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge your head like a damn fool. Woo! Everybody in the world been on Akihiko ass the past two days. You've never been good at hiding shit. Damn. And he write about it too. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Not me. The past does not exist anymore, nigga. Anyway. I live in the present. We finally know how to get I don't even think about the future. No shit? No shit. Yeah. The thing is, all I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second. He has focused only on strength a lot, though. That's like me, though. I can't even be mad at the nigga, bro. All I focus on is YouTube and consecration. Everything else came second. Yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Me, me, me. Your reason for fighting. It's different for everyone, but if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. Bye, nigga. I did. I'm not like you. Damn! Man, you can't believe I'm your ass, and I'm not. Well, see you around. So they used to be homies back in the day, day, back in the day, day. No Craig. You really haven't changed at all. Damn! Look at them like yeah. their storyline is expanding. Do y'all see this shit? Like, they're dropping everything on you in one month. Oh, my God. And y'all niggas told me that shit, too. Y'all niggas are like, yo, Apollo. The first few months are very good. Very amazing, like, build up. But as soon as July hits, they said that shit just starts boom, 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 boom. Like, the storyline just, like, immediately pick up to, like, an S-tier plus storyline. Damn! Senpai, this is unusual. Y'all niggas were right. Come as soon as July hit, this shit picked the fuck up. So not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. She knows it was her. Oh, Yuka, Yuka. Sorry for doing that. Yuka, Yuka. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. Nigga, fuck your favor, bitch. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. Don't try to be like, yeah, I'm on your side the entire time. You should have told us then. Oh, well, very little of that was made public. Look at her trying to be like, yeah, so I want you to go find out. Like, nigga, no, bro. I know. You didn't tell us shit. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. The what? You mean, hack into their system? No way she's going to be one of those, I'm in, ass niggas. No way. Is that allowed? I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. Nigga, then you do it, Mitsuri. I need to know the truth. <laughs> you do it. Senpai. Of course, I'll understand. Have I called everybody by their first name except Takaiba? <laughs> I'm just now realizing that. Akihiko Mitsuri, Yuka Junpei, Makoto. <laughs> I didn't realize I've been calling her by her last name only by this whole time, bro. What the fuck? Why'd I do that? I did not realize that shit. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. Are you sure? Takaiba just sounds so much more fun to say. Appreciate it. 
But from here on out, it's Yukari. It's Yukari. She got my respect now. We right here with it. We right here with it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? Damn. Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. And she didn't give us no choice either. Just one day she was like, yo, you're part of the group, y'all. Like, nigga, what? I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. She don't give a fuck. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? Woo! The thing I've noticed about One Piece, sorry I've been like just fucking dropping One Piece showing y'all the past couple of days, but I'm just really into this anime right now, is all those fucking solo niggas, Luffy, Chopper, Usopp, just introduced, just introduced Robin right now, Nami. The reason they all fit so well together is because they all were looking for a family independently, bro. And as soon as they found each other, they got that family now. That's these niggas. That's these niggas. Gives them a bit of an inferiority we ain't seen Makoto's parents this whole fucking game. I don't like being at home. She don't like being at home. But here, I'm able to do something. They have a family here, man. I have a purpose. Damn. No, I don't have any complaints. Akihiko was an orphan. You're right. We can't do this without you. Mitsuria said before that her parents were just fucking domineering and made her just do all bunch of just academic smart shit and she hated that. No one could take your place. Damn. Uh, oh. Thank you. I'll see you later. I want to see what's wrong with Junpei though. Junpei inside his room, his room molding. Yes, yes. What the fuck is that a damn movie poster for? What is that shit? Wait, hold up, nigga. What are they kissing? Are that two niggas kissing? What is going on? The detonator. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is happening, bro? What movie is that? No, that's a good thing. That's what we've been fighting for. He losing his damn mind. So then, why? Why what? Damn it! Why am I so pissed? What is going on with Junpei, bro? For July. He must be like, yo, girls, you find me cute? Yeah, hell no. No, ah! people start going crazy. Wow, can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. What if he's the crash out king? What if he's the crash out king and just start losing his damn mind? Uh, who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. The fuck is this little storyline we're listening to? What the hell? What was that? You get you get what, nigga? What was that long ass pause? The problem is me. What? I'm going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Cause without that, without that, I'm nothing. Damn! Look at this exposition they're dropping, man! This storyline going crazy. Yuka got to find out information about that bum ass fucking Mitsuri's granddad, who's the leader of an organization that houses Junpei, who's depressed because all he's good at is persona shit. And then once he leaves that fake ass, false ass world, he's nothing inside real life. Makoto, who's voiced by fucking me and played by me, and I'm already a deviant nigga in itself, and also Takaiba. Who also has the same kind of thing that Junpei's experiencing, my nigga. She don't trust Mitsuri. She don't trust Akihiko. And she knows that all she really is good at is fucking school shit. And then Persona shit. And that's it. And we fucking playing around with that dumbass dog. So much for being a hero. I guess I gotta be a villain. Like, what if he just, like, completely 360 right now? 180. I can't fight worth this shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. He's still comparing himself to me! He's saying I'm ass in real life, and the only thing I'm good at is this shit. But I'm not even the best at this because Makoto exists, Apollo exists! Damn it! Nothing I do is gonna Oh my god! Junpei, no! What the fuck? He's turning bad. He's turning bad. Why am I only ever 
never write about the worst things. No fucking way, bro! So blindly? Dad, I got this letter from you last spring. And he ain't talked to your stupid ass since. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Nigga, is that who I think it is? Wait, hold up. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the... The GOAT! Is that the Sasuke voice actor, nigga? If that's him, that nigga's officially literally in everything. What? Hold on, let me listen closer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in 10 years time. That has to be him. That has to be him, bro. Yukari. Maybe small now. Yep, 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 yep. That's him. Damn! I forget, I'm blanking on his name right now, but he plays all my favorite characters, bro. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late. But you always manage to greet me with a smile. That's so dope. That's so dope if that's him. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo-san appointed me head researcher. W. I'm starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition from her. Her dad was a part of it! But I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. God damn! Her dad died in the experiment that was caused by Mitsuri's grandpa. Nah, this game is heat. This game is heat. This game is heat. And it's slowly reaching one of the best games I've played on this channel. I ain't gonna lie to you at all, bro. This shit is fucking fuego. Fuego! Oh, Dad. Her dad died in that explosion. Akari, I wonder. Are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. And we're in 2010 now. This is fucking crazy. She read that shit like the day that she joined this fuck ass school, bro. No matter what happened. The game started in March. I'm pretty sure the game started in March. All I can do is believe. This is fucking crazy. I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. Not ever. Damn. That's why she's in this fuck ass group. Nigga, fuck them exams, bro. What the hell just happened in the past, like, 30 minutes? How did this game go from literally a cool-ass, dope-ass game to S-plus tier fucking storyline and plot? It's almost time for the home shopping show. Nigga, fuck that damn show, bro. God damn. I feel like, honestly, it's the best way to leave the shop right here, bro. God damn, bro. Well... It seems like the game is now officially starting. Niggas said, yo, as soon as July hits, get the fuck ready, boom. Plot line, boom. Plot line, boom. Storyline, boom. Character death. Like, nigga, they said it picks the fuck up from right here. So y'all enjoyed the first 16, 17 episodes, my nigga? This shit apparently gets a lot better from this fucking point on, bro. Well... I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Check on your strong friends. Pray for your enemies. Or at least wish them well. I'll see y'all next time, bro. This game is fucking fire. Fuego. Like I said, bro. I'm being dead honest. This could be one of the best games I've played on my channel. Literally ever, my nigga. And I've played some fucking bangers, nigga. Star-studded bangers. I'll see y'all niggas next time, bro. Peace.